Hey everyone, and welcome back to Shady Side Library. If you're new here, welcome. I talk pretty much all things books on this YouTube channel, all different types. I read a plethora of genres, and one of my goals this year is to read um, outside of just fictional books. I I tend to read for escapism and, um, you know, just to get lost in a story. But uh, last year I read uh, Get Out of Your Head by Jenny Allen and really, really enjoyed it. It, it honestly changed my life. And I'm not going to be talking about that today, but I am going to be talking about Jenny Allen's newest book called Untangle Your Emotions. Uh, this book just came out. I believe it was July 13th. I'm glancing at my calendar. Not July, I'm sorry. February 13th, um, the day before Valentine's Day. And I, I scooped it right up and read it because I enjoyed her last book so much. Um, so yeah, if you've heard her name before, it's probably from seeing this book around. This book came out in 2020, and it was kind of perfect timing for the world because everyone was going through a difficult time and an unpredictable time and people were experiencing anxiety and this book helped me control my anxiety a lot and I struggle heavily with anxiety and I'm, I'm open to that. So before we get started I did want to say um, you know these both are religious books uh, they speak about God. Uh, they speak about Christianity and they include quite a bit of scripture from the Bible. So, do you have to be a Christian to read it? No, not at all. Um, I think you might understand it maybe a little bit better, but it, it is very entry level. So, I I do think you can pick it up whether you would consider yourself religious or not. Um, one thing I do ask is that in the comments you guys keep it friendly and keep it kind and um, uh, just don't say anything uh, mean or hateful or bad or judgmental. Um, but. Uh, I don't talk about it a lot, but yes, I am a Christian, and I am strong in my faith, and without further ado, let's let's talk about uh, Untangle Your Emotions. So, in my opinion, the title of this book is just a little bit misleading. So, right here it says, Naming What You Feel and Knowing What to Do About It. So, that is kind of what the book is somewhat about. Um, it definitely is about recognizing your emotions, but more of the book is all about encouraging you to feel those emotions and not being afraid to feel them. I grew up in a family where, you know, I was kind of taught that, you know, some emotions should be suppressed. I mean, you shouldn't always cry when you're sad or you shouldn't always, you know, express your emotions or tell people about, you know, your problems or things like that. So honestly, I spent a lot of my life you know, hiding some of my emotions. And that's what this book tells you not to do. And uh, I stand beside that. And sh Jenny Allen in this book does a great job of explaining why we should 
feel emotions and you know the reason that we're feeling them and what to do with them when we feel them because you know different emotions you know you react differently uh, well you should react differently to f feeling those so ultimately I think anyone could pick up this book and benefit from it um, whether you feel like you're lost in your emotions or not or whether you feel like your emotions are tangled up or not I definitely think most people could benefit from this uh, but I personally learned a lot from it just because it, it number one, taught me to feel emotions. I've always kind of suppressed them. So one thing, just a small example would be, you know, whenever you're sad, you know, a lot of people will want to cry and you know at a young age parents are trying to get their kids to stop crying like you know don't don't cry don't do this but you know sometimes crying is what we need to do you know it's it's an emotion we're feeling and it's important to feel that emotion and ultimately that emotion uh, draws us closer to God and it encourages us to take the way we're feeling to God and get his help uh, and uh, emotions are almost like a, a calling um, and now that I think back on it I wish I would have gone to God when I felt all these different crazy emotions, especially throughout my journey of being severely ill and pretty much on the brink of dying. And um, I, I wish I would have known some of the techniques uh, that she teaches. And one thing I will say is that she's very well researched. She did a ton of research going into this. She provides uh, scripture in the Bible um, to back her um, just her, I don't know, uh, the, the claims that she makes. She, uh, she backs them with scripture. Uh, it's not overloaded with scripture. Um, she's not beating you over the head with uh, anything in this book or making, you know, uh, making you feel like, you know, this is a classroom setting or something and she's teaching you these things and really just trying to drill it into your brain. No, she uses a lot of personal experiences to give examples as to uh, why we should feel our emotions. And um, she, another thing she really, I say harps on, um, but, you know, claims is important, is the importance of having a good community. A community of people to go to, um, uh, somebody to share those emotions with. Um, definitely, um, your number one priority should be God, because He's the one who's, you know, allowing you to feel those emotions, and so you should definitely feel drawn to Him and take your emotions to Him. But also. Uh, it encourages you to take your emotions other places and one of those is your community of people and I think that's where I struggled so much these past few years is I didn't have a community of people 
And when I got sad or happy or um, confused, I, I didn't have anyone to take those to. And so one of my goals for this year is to create a, a healthy community of people uh, to surround myself with that I can go to. Um, so if, if you are in the same boat as me, uh, feel free to reach out. I'd love to chat with you, um, you know, whether you are a Christian or not. Um, feel free to send me an email at shadysidelibrary at gmail.com or reach out to me on Instagram at shadysidelibrary. But before I leave, I did want to just show some of her other books and mention the fact that she does have a podcast that I've listened to quite a bit. And I really, I, I've really enjoyed it. Um, uh, I think she's going to be talking about this book a lot in the podcast. So if you're not ready to buy this book, uh, go listen to her podcast. Uh, she'll teach you a little more about it and see if it's something you're interested in reading. But I'll sh see if I can show this page really fast. But these are... Um, three of her most popular books, and it kind of just says, you know, when a good time to read them would be. And um, Get Out of Your Head, it says uh, when you feel overwhelmed. Um, I would also add when you feel anxious. This helped with my anxiety. Um, then there's this one I have not read yet, but this is definitely next on my list to read. Um, and that is um, Find Your People. Wow, that's hard to see. <laughs> uh, anyways, this one is for when you feel lonely. And I'll be honest, I do feel lonely quite a bit. I When I got really, really sick, I, I kind of cut myself off from the world. And, um, you know, joining BookTube and just talking about books has helped immensely. And then um, there's this one. I have not read this one either, uh, but this is uh, Nothing to Prove. And it says for when you feel exhausted. So I don't know a ton about those, but I can highly, highly, highly recommend reading Get Out of Your Head. And if I'd s recommend one or the other, I'd say I'd go with Get Out of Your Head, but they're both very closely related, and she references Get Out of Your Head in Untangle Your Emotions quite often. So they do go very hand in hand because you know, spiraling toxic thoughts and emotions are both very relevant when it comes to um, maintaining a good relationship with God and, you know, having a happy and healthy mental and physical health. So, those are kind of my uh, random rambling thoughts about Jenny Allen's new book. I I gave both of these five stars. I I really really got so much how to get out of your head. I had to pick this one up and read it right away. So hopefully that encouraged you to uh, pick up the book. I definitely would recommend you. Give it a whirl and um, do your research. And uh, thanks for listening. And don't forget to be nice in the comments. And uh, I'd love to chat with you on these books. So thanks for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.